Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and today we are going to be doing my second quarter book haul. So these are all the books that I published in April, May and June. There's quite a few. So I'm going to try and do this as quickly as possible. Luckily a lot of them are series so that should hopefully speed it up a bit so I don't have to be talking about the same series a lot of times. And I'll go through them month by month. Most of them are from May because May was my birthday month and also I had like gift vouchers and all of that so I was buying a lot of books. So let's just get straight on into it. So in April, April I actually almost didn't haul anything in April but then right near the end it was announced the book depository was going to be closing down and I kind of took this opportunity. I had a normal wish list that were books that I was like interested in. I had like a second wish list that was just like different editions of Schwab books that I buy when I'm happy or when I'm sad. So I can expand my shop collection and then I had a third one which was like five four or five star books that like I do want to buy but like I'm waiting for when I have the money and with book depository closing down I decided to just bite the bullet and I bought the five Murbot books that I needed. I already had book four which is exit strategy I got that like a year before um because it was like just in my bookshop and I had a book voucher so I decided to buy it but I got the rest of them so I got book one, which is All System Dread, book two, which is Artificial Condition, book three, which is Rogue Protocol, book five, which is Network Effect, and book six, which is Fugitive Telemetry. These are all the books in the, well, almost all the books in the Murderbot Diary series. So this series, it follows Murderbot, and basically Murderbot, they have hacked their governor module, which means they are like no longer under control. So they have free will. And Instead of running away or going on a killing spree or anything like that, Murderbot just wants to watch its TV serials. And, and so to do this, basically Murderbot does the bare minimum of their job so that they don't get caught or found out that they're no longer under control. And then like things start happening and Murderbot might actually have to start doing their job. And I love this series. I read it last year and I gave them all four stars and then I reread them last year. And I kind of upped some of them because like I just... They kind of stuck with me and I just like I'm just really fond of them I feel like that's a good word I'm just fond of them so these were all of the books that I bought in April as I already mentioned a lot of the books that I got in May I a lot of them I well I was gonna say a lot of them I bought that's actually not necessarily true a lot of them I used book vouchers for some of these are birthday gifts some of them are I got myself all of this we'll go through them so the first one was The Goblet Emperor by Catherine yeah Catherine Addison and this one actually I got put on my TBR by Emma yes and I saw it in Waterstones I had a Waterstones gift card from Christmas and I was like okay I'm gonna get it so I did and so this follows Maya and he is the son of the emperor he's the youngest son and because he is half goblin he has basically been exiled from court and then he gets a messenger and he finds out that his father and all of his older brothers are dead and he is now the next emperor and it just follows him as he tries to navigate politics and court and all of this thing it's very much in the details that's what the plot is it's like about the little things it's not like you know a war is coming or anything like that it's about like the small inner workings of this empire on the same day, I also bought The Natural History of Dragons by Marie Brannan. I have read The Mask of Mirrors and The Liar's Knot, which is co-written by Marie Brannan. And so I decided I wanted to read this. Also, it's about dragons. So yes. Also, I gave this a four stars. I also gave this a four stars. So this follows Isabella. And she is basically like one of the world's leading experts in dragons. And she is sitting down in her old ish age anyway and is deciding to write her memoirs and it, this one starts from her very first journey and as I said I gave this a four stars and then the last book that I bought that day was Ocean's Echo by Everina Maxwell I actually recently read this in a vlog and again another four stars I really enjoy this this is a companion I suppose to Winter's Orbit Winter's Orbit uh kind of it like takes place in like the same universe but they're following like different planets and in this planet we follow Tanal and Suresh and Tanal is what's called a reader which means he can read people's minds and this is just illegal and Suresh is a writer which basically means he can control people which it's not illegal to be a writer but it is illegal to control people and basically Tanal gets himself into a lot of trouble and he ends up getting conscripted into the army for his mind basically to be bound to Suresh so he can be controlled and it just follows the two of them as they kind of work together because neither of them want this to happen 
and I really really enjoy this. This was like a really high four star. And the next book that I hauled was Daughter of No Worlds by Chris Broadman and this was a birthday gift from Cassidy. Thank you Cassidy. She's been reading a lot of fantasy romance lately and she loved Serpent in the Wings of Night but she didn't get that one for me because she had the feeling that that's not really my sort of fantasy romance so she got this for me and I did enjoy it. I gave it a low four stars but I mean I'm really fussy about romance so that's like a really good rating from me. This one follows Dasana and she is a slave and she is working to buy her freedom and then she accidentally kills a man and she runs to this order that are like magical and she ends up getting trained by this person called Max who does not like the order and it's obviously a romance between the two of them. So then the next book that I hauled again this is another one that I bought with a Waterstones gift voucher. Yes this is another one I bought with a gift Waterstones gift voucher or was it maybe with points? Did I have Waterstones points? Mm -mm, I can't remember. Anyway, this is 10,000 Stitches by Olivia Atwater. So this is the second book in the Regency Fairy Tale series. So the first book is Half a Soul, which will be coming up later. Yes, I bought them in the wrong order. What about it? I haven't read this one yet, but I think it follows Effie, who is a maid, and she is in love with a gentleman, but obviously this can never happen. And I think she ends up making a deal with a fairy. She can win this gentleman's heart. And I'm gonna guess that it's actually gonna be a romance between her and the fairy. But I mean, I could be proven wrong. <laughs> but yeah, I'm excited to get this to this. Um, I will be getting it to it in July. Now we're on to birthday gifts from my parents. And so the first one is The Last Argument of Kings by Joe Abercrombie. This is the third and final book in the First Law trilogy. And obviously there's like spin-off series, but this is like last one in the core series. And so this series, it follows Glockda, Logan and Giselle. The three of them all seem to be of interest to this like magical wizard. It's very hard to explain. I'm not the biggest fan of it, which is kind of disappointing, but oh well, I will be reading this very soon. Parents, I got The Mime Order by Samantha Shannon. You read the first one in April and I gave it a four stars. I liked it. I didn't love it. It was kind of a bit of a lower one. I had a couple of issues. I just didn't really connect to the characters, but I did actually enjoy the world more than I thought I would. And so this series, it follows Paige and she is a clairvoyant and clairvoyant is, is and being a clairvoyant is illegal and she once get, day gets caught and she ends up being brought to this place and basically she learns a lot more about the world and that a lot of things are being hidden from people. And the next three I'll talk about together. Tongues of Serpents, Crucible of Gold and League of Dragons all by Naomi Novik. These are books six, seven and nine in the Temera series. Book eight wasn't available but you'll see that in a minute. So this series follows Captain Will Lawrence and he is a naval captain in the Napoleonic Wars and then he gets into a skirmish with a French ship and they win and so they get to take what's on the ship and that includes a very valuable dragon's egg and the egg starts to hatch and basically Captain Lawrence steps up to harness the dragon as soon as it is hatched so it can be used uh, for Britain in the fight against Napoleon and obviously it hatches he calls in the Ter Temeraire and the series follows them and their journey as they try and fight back against Napoleon. And the next three <laughs> I bought the day of my birthday I went into like I went in and did a bit of shopping and I got three books. So the first one is The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue the paperback. I have the Waterstone edition with like the golden sprayed edges but obviously I want the paperback because I have most of her books in UK paperbacks so I wanted this and I do actually think this is really nice. I like the white and the blue and I like the gold. <laughs> so The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue it follows Addie and, and 300 years ago she made a deal to a god after dark because she doesn't want to get married and in exchange for this she is forgotten by everyone who meets her. Over 300 years she can kind of really only spend one day with a person and then they forget her the next time that they see her. And then in modern day she walks into a bookshop and someone remembers her. And I really enjoyed this when I read it. I think I gave it five stars but it's not my favourite Phoebe Shaw book. I know that this is probably her most read book but definitely not my favourite. Then I also got myself The Bone Shared Daughter by Andrea Stewart. This one, I, so this one I haven't read. I don't really know. I know that it's something about like the Emperor's daughter I think and she is trying to learn this like magic that the Emperor is supposed to that the Emperor has and he refuses to show her it and he won't name her heir because she doesn't know it and so she goes and tries to teach it to herself I think and I've heard really good things about this book not so good things about the second book but 
I'm hoping that I'll be the unpopular opinion. And I've heard pretty good things, I think, about the third one so far, but that's only recently out. And the last book that I bought that day was Ashes of the Sun by Django Wexler. This one is definitely because of Cassidy and Mel, and I feel like I've seen a good few more people read it since then. And I don't really know much about this. Again, I do think that it is inspired by Star Wars, which I like Star Wars. I, yeah, I do like Star Wars. I'm not like the biggest fan, but I've seen all the movies. Yes, I've seen all the movies and I've watched some of the TV shows. And so I think we follow a brother and a sister. And when they're young, I think the sister gets taken by the Empire and she's like raised and trained by them. And so she's loyal to them. And then the brother basically joins the resistance because they stole his sister. And I think it follows the two of them and as their paths cross and all of this. And I'm, I really want to read this um, because it does sound really good. Definitely going to read it soon hopefully but also I'm trying to not start as many series so maybe not. So then back to birthday gifts for a little while um so from the lovely Lizzie I got Ice Planet Barbarians by Ruby Dixon as you can see there's a bookmark in there but I haven't actually started reading it I need to read it for a video which I think should be up before this one so she gave this to me because she wanted me to read it for our vlog so I am doing it you're welcome and yeah it's Ice Planet Barbarians uh it follows a group of women I think and they get kidnapped by aliens and then the aliens crash onto an ice planet and then they get help from other aliens so there's like bad aliens and then there's good aliens and the good aliens are the ones the blue ones that they fall in love with and just and yeah and so like one of them is like oh my god you're my mate and like I'll help you but like you have to stay with me forever because you're like my mate and I'm like oh god <laughs> this is gonna be fun I'm gonna have fun reading this like I might like it but I'm gonna have fun. <laughs> and I have five more. All five of these I included in a come was it a come book shopping with me video? I'll leave that link down below. I went into like three different bookstores. I accidentally bought all of these in one bookstore though and as I said I'll leave that video linked down below if you want to see that. So uh, the first one which I've already kind of talked about Half a Soul by Olivia Atwater. So this is the first book in the Regency fairy tales and so this one follows Dora who only has half a soul because the other half was taken by a fairy when she was young and this kind of makes her act a little odd and so her cousin wants to find a husband and so she goes to London but she kind of also has an ulterior motive because she wants to get the attention of the like the king's sorcerer basically to help her cousin and obviously they start um and then obviously Dora and this sorcerer start to fall in love and it's very sweet I actually really enjoy this I give it four stars <laughs> And then I also hauled The Tropic of Serpents by Marie Brennan. This is book two in the Lady Trent, the Memoirs of Lady Trent series. And I already told you what this series is about. I don't know where the story is going to go from here because I feel like where the first book ended, obviously I believe this is going to follow another one of her adventures through her life. And number three was The Wolf of Princess and the Piebald Prince. Again, another book that I have actually already read. And I think I gave this four stars when I read it. I read it a good while ago because I read it with um, the Catch Up Book Club. I still haven't read the last two books in that series. Like I kept up with them the whole way. Like I was there from book one and I just could not read the last two. Like I love this series, but I'm just, I'm, I'm too afraid. And I read this when they read it. I just read it as an audiobook. I've never actually seen it in a bookshop. This was actually one of those ones, remember that list I had earlier on like book depository of like books that I'm like, mm, I probably will buy one day. This was like on that list. And so when I saw it in a bookstore and I had just gotten a voucher for my birthday, I was like, oh, well, I'm gonna get it for myself. So um, this follows way before the start of the Realm of the Elderlings. We follow a princess, also the child that she gave birth to, and kind of the story, the true story of what happened with them. And then like, cause like we get references to it as the series goes on, but we actually like get the true story of what happened in here and it's told in a very interesting way because it's told from like a woman's perspective she is like writing it down then i hauled the hundred thousand kingdoms by nk jemison i think these are newer covers because i remember there used to be a bind up of the three but i don't think that's an available anymore but um i did buy this um but i did get this because i want to read more nk jemison i have only read her fifth season series and i did enjoy that uh that's the broken earth trilogy I enjoyed that. I gave them all four stars, I believe. Uh, I like the first one the most. And N.K. Jemison is an author that, again, I do think I want to do. I'm ranking all of their books. So I, you know, I have to start somewhere. I'm a bit scared of like the is it Dreamblood duology or something. I feel like this is the series that I've heard the most 
positive things about aside from the Broken Earth trilogy. So I thought that I would go with this one. And then the last book that I hauled in May and on the same day as those ones was The Priory of the Orange Tree by Samantha Shannon. Again, another book that I've actually recently read. Um, I'll leave the video of me reading them. I also read Ocean's Echo in that same video and I gave this two stars. I did not like this and it's such a shame because it is a signed copy. I, I really thought I would enjoy this because it is I like the bone season I give it four stars and this is much more my type of book than the bone season is and so I was just overall really bored and I just didn't really like it and yeah real it was a real shame and yeah so this follows two sides of the world the west and the east and the west is fearful of dragons and the east kind of worships them works with them all of this and there is this creature that is rising called the nameless one that was bound 1000 years ago and is now rising and it is up to them to kind of work together to uh destroy it again we're on to june and there's actually only one book that i hauled in june and it's a book that i've already read and it's blood of tyrants which is the eighth book in the tamara series by name and Ovik. obviously i've already given you a synopsis of this series this is actually my favorite book i'll leave my ranking name and Ovik down below spoiler this is my favorite but <laughs> Basically, um, when I got the last few books for my birthday, I wanted to get this one, obviously, but it wasn't available. So I just, you know, so I just let it go. So then like one day I saw that it was finally available again. So I ordered it for myself. And then as I was filming, I filmed the ranking name and Ovik twice. And the first time I filmed it, I realized because this was my favorite one. I was like, I own almost every name and Ovik book except my favorite one. Uh, luckily at that point I had already ordered it and by the time I refilmed it because I messed it up the first time I then had it in hand. <laughs> All the books, I'm not listing them because I can't. Yeah, no I can't. <laughs> these are all of the books that I hauled in the last three months. So, uh, have you read any of these? Let me know. And thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!